Hey, Ramon! Hey, 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 hey! Ramon! Oh, no, you hear me? What are you, what are you doing with these guys? Don't you got an English test today? You think they're gonna let you play basketball if you fail that test? I already speak English. Okay. Well, go ahead. Go ahead. You gotta figure it out. Hey, hey! Before you go, let's play this out. Okay? You go with them, you get drunk. Now that you're drunk, you can't play basketball. How long before you drop out? I'll give it a week. So now you're a 17-year-old wino. When you're a wino, you're doing what winos do best. You go to jail. Once, twice, third time you get a hard judge. Judge gives you two choices. You got jail, you got the army. Which one are you gonna take? Army ain't so bad. All right, no, you're right, it's not. Well, except you forgot about one thing. War! So now you're in Afghanistan. You know what they got in Afghanistan? Landmines. Boom! You got no legs. So now what happens? You right back here. You in the streets, but let's remember, you got no diploma. You got no feet. You got no job. That means you're back at the liquor store, getting drunk all damn day. Now that you're drunk all day, you try to steal, because you don't have a job. But stealing ain't going too good, because you can't run. You know why you can't run? Because you got no feet. Now you're stuck living in a refrigerator box. Here's the bad thing. You're lonely, you're in the gutter, and you're legless. Is that what you want? Huh? I think I'm gonna go back inside now. You gonna walk, run, go okay. sprint. All right, cause you didn't have legs, you got the crawl. All right, man, go ahead. It was something else about the dumbest damn kid in this school. All right, Shalom, first off and foremost, I'm going to say, call hello, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS that rule well, starting with the apostles of Haranon, Don. The, the uh, truth of the Lord taught this truth for three decades and still pushing on and, and enduring it to this day. All right, and Shalom to you, sincere Ikem, that's pushing the truth through the spirit, through the power, through the name of Yahweh, by Shem, Shai, the city they elected Israel, followed by the one third of Israel. All right, and that's also. Involving you, confusing the faces, that's also in the fold, all right? That's also doing right up your by Shemal Shai, all right? And your Israelites, all right? You Jakes out there consists of you so called Negroes, you West Indians, Latinos, and the Native American Indians, all right? And um, real quick, I want to do another, you know, this is a be addition of another spiritual analogy, all right? And before I, before I get the scripture, all right, that was a scene of uh, the movie called Ride Along, all right? And um in that scene you saw, Kevin Hart was just telling the uh the young Jake that you know uh, basically man he was telling him the the consequences if you don't get it right man, all right he's he telling him the uh the um the uh what's the word looking for the order of events that can happen uh by you just not sh showing up to class man he's saying you can uh, show up to class and he said he said you can either uh go to class and keep doing work and you know be in the right path. All right, all right, or either you can um not go to class and then become a uh you know a dropout and then get uh go to the army. Then when you go to the army, get your legs blown off, man. All right, and that's what we do out there. Every time we out there in the highways and the byways, man. That's what the true man of the Lord start starting with the apostles and elders and down to the sincere young younger Akim. That's what we do, man. All right, we persuade men through the terror of the Lord. All right, and that's what was Kevin, and that's what uh, Kevin Howard was doing. He, he he was persuading that that young Jake of, of of the bad things that can possibly happen to him if he don't stay in the right path and and and, uh, and and continue to do right and take heed to what he was saying, man. And that's what we do not there, man. We we could we persuading men through terror of Yahweh Hashem Shah, man. We telling Jake that if if you continue to be wicked, the Lord's gonna kill you, man. All right. And we and, and and we and we out there saying that, hey man, if if you don't get right, man, you're gonna die, basically, man, straight up, man. If you if you out if we, you know, we uh we getting we getting the blood off our off, off, uh our hands, man. All right, hey, if you take heed, man, you know, you know, uh, that's the Lord dealing with you, man. If you take heed, man, then then the Lord, then the Spirit is manifesting with you, man. The Spirit is uh is bearing witness with you, man. That's good, man. All right, cause cause that brother could be a part of the uh that remnant, that elect number. All right, but for the ones that don't take heed, man, uh, 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 hey, man, you've been warned, man. All right, 
because the, 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 the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. All right. It was uh, one account at camp when um, and Jake had came up. All right. I believe he was a Benjamite. He, but he, he knew and he knew he was a Jake. But then after he found out he after, after they found out he was a Jake, we told him that America's going to be destroyed. All right. And he got scared, man. And he, and he, and he low key panicked. You know, he low key panicked and saying, you know, he was saying, where do I go? What do I do? All right. And that's how and, and, and he got persuaded to, 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 you know, to just listen and take heed. All right. Because we because we out there for the elect, man. We're not out there for everybody. But through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. All right. No, we uh we uh we, we are fishes of men, all right. We have to be able to persuade the men, which is also going to be the elect, man, all right. But this is the book of Second Corinthians five and uh, verse eleven, and it says, "Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences, all right." But the point was right there, all right. We we persuade men through the terror of the Lord, all right. Through the terror of the Lord. You know, uh, uh, you can, um, uh, you know, you can get persuaded like that, man. All right, F faster than a, a light switch, man. Because once I heard, because once my um, once the aunt, once the aunt told me that, once the aunt told me that this place was gonna get uh fucked up by over two hundred million nukes, man. Man, I was scared as shit, man. All right, I almost pissed my pants, man. I got scared because I, I, because I, because being before the truth, man, I was just being wicked, man. I didn't know that this place was going down in shambles, man. And once I heard the truth that I was an Israelite, all right, and that America is, is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles, man, man, hey, man, I got right, man. Because, uh, Lord willing, I'm part of the number, man. I don't want to be caught in that lake of fire, man. All right. But at the same time, the scriptures say we got to, you know, let every man be persuaded in his own mind. All right. So whether they hear for bear or not, man, you've been warned. All right. Cause, cause, like I said, I'm gonna say it again, man. We, we only out there for the elect. We're not out there to persuade every every man. All right, we're not out there to uh to convince er, uh, every being walking past, man. We only out there for the elect. All right, and only the elect is gonna fear the um, the name of Yahweh by Shemal Shai, and uh and what's the, and what's to come upon the shores of America upon Esau's wicked ass queendom. All right, and uh, this is the book of Ezekiel. Thirty three. And verse...